All right, guys, uh, here we are. Uh, my name is Christian. This is uh, Luke. This is my buddy, Caesar. Uh, we're here to make a quick video about uh, Ultra, Ultra Shoes, and uh, we're just gonna make a quick review of our uh, experience with uh, the brand and just, you know, just talk about, you know, how we feel about them and, you know, what it's like to wear them and whether, you know, the pros and cons and what, on just wearing the shoes in general. So I just want to start off with my um, Ultra Lone Peak 4s. Now these are uh, the first close to minimalist shoes that I had bought. Uh, the first before was the uh, Vibram Five Fingers. And, uh, you know, I, I, I really like those, but they were hard to wear. You know, since you know they're not very fashionable to say the least. You know, these were the first closed toe ones that I bought, and you know I just really like these. Even though these aren't for like going out, <clears throat> these are these are really comfortable, really really well made. You know, I'll still go out with them if I'm just gonna go to the grocery store or whatever. But uh, yeah, these are trail running shoes, and uh, I've run I've run a couple trails with these. You know, maybe not like out in the wilderness or anything, but just out in the trail, out in the outside, you know, and uh, these have held, held out really well. The only problem with these is that they're, they're, they're very stiff, and I suspect that's how it is for most of them, but it's not too stiff, you know. Over here you can see it like it bends at the, at the ball of the foot, which is good enough, you know. I guess that's to add to the sturdiness if you were to go like on like maybe a a light hiking, a hiking uh, expedition, or just like a, you know, or a light pack, you know. But um, yeah, so uh, my buddy Luke, he has. Uh, I have some. Uh, Luke. Uh, thanks, uh, Christian. And yeah. What? What? what um, I have some Escalantes. Yeah. Ask, yeah. These are Ultra Escalante. These are, these are not trail running shoes, but on, um, on the contrary, you know, I do. Uh, run, um, hike in these, and I did. I did a little uh, hike in Vancouver, North of Vancouver. Oh, yeah. I actually hiked in these, and uh, these really got tore up, but they still, they still, uh, they still in good condition, you know. But these are for road, for street, for not for trails. Yeah, yeah, they're for the for regular. But uh, I've had these for going on, uh, going on uh, maybe two months already. And uh, these 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 shoes, I would say that I I just I wake up in the morning, I just can't wait to put these on. Honestly, you know, I'm like, man, you nice. know, I, or if, let's say if I'm wearing different shoes, like I'm I'm going to church or something, I'm wearing some church shoes. I can't wait till I get home so I can put some put my ultras on, cause I I, I ain't gonna lie, the they're very comfortable, like Christian says. They they got your your wide toe box, which is that's what they're known for. Give your feet room to uh, naturally, you know, naturally spread out, you know. And uh, my foot honestly um, uh, it, uh, feels a lot better in it. If I if I switch, like I was playing basketball with uh, some uh, uh, some Nike uh, Kobe's, there are Kobe's, and uh, and I don't know that the those shoes are are uh, very tight you know as, as even in the two months i've worn these my my foot uh likes it likes the wide uh toolbox better and the kobe's are real tight and it doesn't feel as comfortable as these so yeah it really changed the way my foot uh reacts to to shoes but yeah these escalantes they they uh they're pretty durable like i said like i hiked on some mountains and stuff and but it, i i did it with the you know they they actually did pretty all right you know and i ain't mm -hmm. lying um so the escalante these cost about 130 um <clears throat> so they were kind of expensive but christian right here he uh convinced me to buy them because of the health healthy uh health benefits health, health benefits of uh, minimalist uh shoes like these you know so i, I really i really uh, like my shoes and 
and I plan on wearing them more and it looks like they got a few more they got a lot a lot more life in them for sure let me ask you something uh, you, you mentioned earlier about how when you first wore them you felt like your your foot reacted differently um, how much better did you feel like whenever you started wearing these as opposed to the Kobe's? I know they're not basically for basketball. I know they slip around. Yeah, but I mean, just, just not for basketball. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so for running, for walking, for you know those kinds of activities, these these do just fine. For riding a bike, these do just fine. You know, but for uh, really fast movements like. Basketball, where you're changing positions every second. These shoes uh, seem to slip from under you. You know, your foot, you know, slips right out of the, because it's really, it's a, it's a meshy, it's, it's elastic. So your foot's going to slip mm. out. You know, even though the, the shoe's planted on the ground, your foot's going to slip out. It's just a slippery surface inside. So... Playing basketball on these was uh was very gruesome, I would say. It wasn't very, you know, I didn't have a lot of fun playing basketball with these, but I wasn't gonna play barefoot, that's for sure. So, uh, but for running, these do great. I ran uh, probably going on 10 miles in these, and um, and uh, I, I enjoy the way these feel whenever I run. It's a little bit more harder impact, uh, due to the min minimalist, uh, your legs will probably tire out because if you're not used to them, it's gonna, uh, you know, it's gonna challenge your your, your muscles where I wasn't you, challenged before. You know. Have you been running in them? I have been running them. Every time I run in them, I, I've, since I got them, every, uh, I think mostly every time was I ran in these. Okay. I would say ninety five percent of the time I ran in these since I got them. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I ain't gonna lie, my my legs, I seem to be building uh, muscle where I didn't, you know, see muscle there yeah. before. Uh, my calves, you know, I. So, uh, I don't. I'm not an expert on on the muscle. On I didn't find the muscles, but uh, I've seen. I, I I do notice my legs are getting stronger. Uh, and uh, they're toning up. You know, just. You right, know, you know, turning up just more, and I just I've been running, maybe a couple times a week, nothing crazy, but I think it has a lot to do with these shoes because, like I said, they challenge your your muscles where they weren't challenged before, mm -hmm. and these shoes kind of make you run on the balls of your feet too, the right. way you're, really the way supposed you're to naturally supposed to run, you know. Yeah. I just wanted to say real quick that uh, I've been wearing minimalist shoes for about six months uh it's already july i think i started in uh december or november six or seven months uh five to six seven months uh i had bought my first uh minimalist shoe which was the vivo uh i'm sorry i'm not the vivo the uh vibram uh oh, five yeah. fingers the with the specifically the v-trek and uh, before I, I, I would run in just like cushioned shoes, like like uh, Asics, you know, or Reeboks. Yeah, I ran in Asics too. Yeah, and Asics are they are one of good, the most good, popular running shoes running out shoe. there. Even the army, army uses yeah, them, yeah uses them out for their for Military. recruits. Uh, yeah, I used to uh, be a big heel striker, and uh, you know, I had an injury on my left foot. And, uh, and I, I couldn't no longer wear regular shoes. And, you know, that's how I kind of got into the whole minimalist thing is, uh, you know, the injury. But, you know, luckily it didn't stop me from running. But one thing, you know, it did do is it, 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 it opened me up to a whole different uh, world of shoes, which is the minimalist shoes. Taught me a lot about, you know, the functionality of the foot and the way we're supposed to be, you know, uh, you know, walking and striking for the most part, uh, you know, and I started, you know, I transitioned from being a huge heel striker to uh, a four foot striker. And, you know, and that was a big challenge, especially in the first few, few weeks where I would only run like, uh, you know, before I was running six miles, but I had to go back down to maybe one or almost two, uh, one, 1.7 miles 
remember the first time I ran was like almost two miles, but not quite. Uh, just because it was just burning my, my calves and my Achilles tendon it was just on fire. And, uh, you know, seven months later, um, I'm running like 10 to 15 miles every run, you know, and, uh, you know, and it's inspired me to, you know, just do marathons. So I'm tra right now I'm training to do marathons and, um, hopefully, you know, within time I can do the 26 miles, 24 mile runs without stopping. And, um, yeah, for me, it was a huge transition. It was just, um, uh, just a huge, huge, hugely different world for me. But it, you know, it's, it's been very helpful. I've never ran so much in my life and, you know, and just, uh, I can feel like just the toe spreading. I also wear a, a toe separator under these shoes, you know, on all my minimal shoes, that's all I can wear anyway. But uh, I wear, you know, they, I feel like my, specifically my ankles, my calves, there's like the soleus and the, and the Achilles tendons are strengthening up and t being able to take more of an impact. So that's, that's, uh, my experience so far with, uh, you know, the whole minimalist shoe. Um, I'm going to go, uh, hand it to oh, my yeah. buddy Caesar and so, uh, let uh, him talk about his shoes. What, what shoes are you wearing? I'm wearing uh superiors from Ultra and, uh, take them off. Yeah, sure. So, uh, they're a little bit cheaper than what uh, Christian has, but I like the style because I'm not really into the whole, uh, you know, uh, the colors, vibrant right? colors, yeah. you know, I like just regular black and gray. Those were, I think, uh, 110, right? Yeah, yeah. and uh, they, feel, they feel pretty good. Pretty good. They, yeah, they, they, they uh... And they, they look about the same. Yeah, know? I mean, they look about the same, is, but there's differences on the sole. If you see, this is more aggressive. The red one is more aggressive. I mean, these are both trail running shoes. But they're both trail running, but these are a little bit less aggressive. Uh, so you know, mm -hmm. I always assume that it costs less money to make this sole compared to that sole. But mm -hmm. but as far as functionality and and looks, this one probably uh, wins it on that. Yeah. So. Uh, I've been, uh, I ran a couple of marathons last uh, two years and uh, I really but, didn't But you care. weren't wearing... You yeah, wearing I really didn't shoes. care what I was wearing. I was wearing some old beat up shoes because I had uh, I'd broken them in and so... He likes to wear shoes out until they completely... Yeah, so uh, uh, I was, I, my, my boy Luke over here, he got, him, got some shoes for me to wear for the, that marathon but... Uh, it was too tight on my toes. I kept getting blisters. And so uh, Christian would kept uh, pushing me to go check out uh, the, the, the store REI and buy some ultras or some minimalist shoes. And it's like, all right, I'll go with you. And I went and he was like, come on, man, you gotta get these shoes that are good for your, your feet. And I was like, all right. All right. He, he kept pushing, pushing. And so I, I went running with the shoe with a friend, and I was telling my friends, like, you know what, man, it's like, uh, you know, when Christian's right, he's right, and these shoes are pretty really comfortable. <laughs> yeah, so, I can feel it was, like, pretty uh, uh, easy on my toes whenever I landed, you know, it wasn't so, so, so tight, you know, squished up together, so that was pretty good, and then getting the blisters out of it, yeah, so, and I'm pretty, I'm planning on turning these shoes apart. Uh, for my next uh, marathon coming up, but yeah, I think they're pretty good. Pretty good shoes. Uh, I'm not. I'm really too familiar with uh, the whole concept, but I do uh, know that they're really comfortable. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yeah, one thing I like to add is like it does. I guess it does add a lot more, a little bit more impact on your on your calves and your Achilles tendon. Like, just you take some time getting used to, but. Uh, Nothing too major, nothing like... You were, you were already like, you know, you were always landing on the ball of your foot, you, you know, you, you told me you were like a soccer player? Yeah, no, it's like whenever you're going running, if you're landing on your heel, you're doing heel toe, you're kind of um, putting too much pressure on your knees and your, uh, your calves. So I had to change it up, so I was landing more softly. So I guess I kind of did it without realizing. 
you know, without knowing the details or the specifics of what that is, of how uh, Iran, but uh, kind of adjusted it. But with these shoes, I think it, since it's uh, minimalist, uh, it forces you to like land more on your on the balls of your feet. Mm-hmm. But uh, overall, I mean, I, I, my feet weren't really killing me after the run. And uh, no blisters, and I feel like you know, they're pretty good quality, so I could probably use these shoes for a while, for a few years, without before it gives gives way and I have to buy new shoes. So I mean, they look pretty nice too. Uh, you know, I just didn't like the the look that uh, they, that uh, Christian shoes had. You know, talking about like talking about like this look right here. No, no, no. I'm talking about like, just the colorful. You know, oh, like, the, the colors, colors like that. I didn't like the colors. Colors like a kid's shoe. And like, <laughs> no, this, I, I think they look good. This was kind of sticking out. I, I mean, I thought that looked good. Words, I have some, I have some blue ones. Can, I have some blue ones like these. But, yeah, talk about but vibrant. These, yeah, but these mm-hmm. these ones, these ones like very, very are are spacious on my toes, but it's still you know I'm like all right you know they're very conspicuous. They're really, they're really, they're really stand, stand out. Yeah. I'm trying to say you know uh-huh. they're just they're nice looking shoes you know you know. Mm-hmm. Regardless if they're minimalist, you know, uh, with zero toe drop. Yeah. You know, regardless, they, they look nice. I was like, all right, you know, they look nice, but mm, I'm pretty comfortable. So, um, so I have to say for that, you know, for uh, SMB. Uh, let's all show our shoes like this. Sure. Yeah, yeah let's uh, promote Ultra. Bro. Yeah. Uh, just so you guys know, we're not, you know, affiliated with Ultra. We're just really into minimalist shoes. I, I feel like, in my opinion, these are like the pinnacle of minimalist. You know, these are these are the shoes that all uh, all minimalist it, yeah. shoes are to be compared to. So, um, you know, in the future, if I, if I make more videos, I'll start, uh, you know, I already have a huge collection of shoes that I would like to like review. And uh, I would like to compare them, you know, based off of the toe box and the functionality and the, uh, the zero drop and just, you know, just use this as a start, a base point, you know, to come, you know, to, you know, verify how, how good a uh, minimalist shoe is. So uh, with that said, um, you know, we're just going to end the video right here. This is our first video, so bear with us if. You know, we're not the best speakers ever, but, uh, you know, either way, we still appreciate you looking at our content and, uh, you know, you know, hopefully in the future I'll make more and, uh, you know, I can be a little bit more informative with my videos. So, uh, with, you know, that's, that's, that's all I have to say. So, cool. all right, man. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching guys. So, you know, have a wonderful day and, uh, you know. Live easy and minimalist, as the uh, Lem's uh, uh, motto is, right? Well, all right, anyway, <laughs> see ya.